Hi, I'm Carl from Tough Souls, and this is our three minute trails video about the Dublin Mountains Way. The Dublin Mountains Way is a trail through, you guessed it, the Dublin Mountains, and it takes about two or three days to complete. It's about 40 to 50 kilometers in length. It's quite close to the city centre, uh, starting in Shank Hill and ending in Tala, or vice versa. And that means that it's only about 12 kilometres from the city centre at any given moment. And uh, for us, it was our 14th out of 42 trails. We began the trail in Shank Hill on Dublin's east coast, and we did the trail carrying very little with us. The trail winds quickly into attractive forestry, going very quickly from car alarms to birdsong. The trail is fairly uphill, bringing it to what's left of the Carcagon lead mine, a tall, magical chimney spreading from the hillside in a, an extremely surprising fashion. Uh, you follow the trail from here to the Scalp, which is kind of a large glaciated valley in between some mountains. From the Scalp, there's a long road section through Kilternan to Glent Cullen, which is best avoided if you can, um, especially at busy times. Johnny Fox's is a nice, if touristy, pub to grab a snack and a drink to steady your nerves after the road section. After that, there's a really nice forestry section that goes past a gallery tomb that's over 4,000 years old, and all the way up to Three Rock, which has really fantastic views of the city. From there, the trail crosses the Wicklow Way um, for maybe 800 metres, and continues on through forestry and small roads, uh, winding down to the massive Bohonabrino uh, Reservoir, which is apparently 2 million cubic metres of water. We found this trail to be fairly road heavy, but we do have a lot of good memories of it, and we're looking forward to doing this one again. The views of Dublin are really spectacular, and it's a nice energetic walk, often through beautiful forestry. The terrain tends to be kind of hard surface, either tarmac or gravel, with occasional packed dirt or forest track, and so we do think it's easiest to do this wearing walking shoes, um, and taking limited gear with you to lessen the impact on your feet. However, it is still on a mountainside, so don't skimp on the rain gear, and you pass very few pubs or shops, so make sure you bring enough food and water. It's very easy to get to the start and ends of the trail, since Tala and Shankill are both served by plenty of buses. However, once you're on the trail, there aren't many public transport options back off, so do consider organising a lift for yourself, or, you know, having someone help you out. It's possible to get a taxi back into town, since you're not that far out of the city, but it would be worth organising that before you start, because you never know if you can or can't actually get a taxi out. Um, you can also get the 44 bus to and from the Scalp, and the 44B to and from Glen Cullen, I think. And taking these buses strategically would allow you to skip one of the worst road sections. Obviously, as Dublin is so close by, accommodation options are very easy to find. I'm not sure I'd recommend camping on this trail, uh, since the city is so close and the options are quite limited. But if you do camp, make sure you ask the landowner and always follow Leave No Trace principles. If you'd like to know more about the Dublin Mountains Way, um, we have a long, full-length video about the trail and our experience on it, and we also have a blog post and various other information, all of which is in the description below. Um, so do check that out. As always, I need to say a massive thank you to all of our patrons on patreon.com slash toughsouls, without whom we just could not make these videos. Um, so it's, it's really it's fantastic. Um, I'm so grateful to all of our patrons. And this video, I would like to say a really huge thank you to Garrett Cahill, to Nigel McMorris, and to Declan Jennings. Also, we got a new microphone. From that's also thanks to our patrons. So if you hear different audio nowadays, it's because of that.